What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Shade Off, and today we're back with another Was It Worth Watching? At this point, I'm considering making this a two week series instead of a month long series, but still not 100% sure, we'll just see how it pans out. With that being said, I do want to talk about this. I've said it many times and I'll say it many more. My ultimate goal for this channel is to reach 100k subscribers. I don't care if it takes me 10 years or 10 days, that is my goal and I will eventually reach that, I hope. With that said, I'm going to need your guys' help. 85.7% of my viewers are not subscribed. That's a huge percentage of people not subscribing. It only takes a simple click to subscribe and if you don't end up enjoying my content, you can always unsub, I totally understand. All I'm asking for is that you give me a chance and maybe even stick around for the journey of me reaching 100k. With that out of the way, let's jump right into the video. Be wary, there are spoilers, so skip to the end if you don't want any. Dr. Stone. Where do I even get started? So, I watch anime on this website most of the time. Of course it was legal! And I have seen so many ads for this show over months, literal months I have seen ads everywhere. So I figured one day that it was time I actually gave it a shot. Okay of course we're going to start off with the pros, and to start it off we've got how unique it is. It's just so different from any other anime, at least from what I've seen, I love it. Personally. I'm not the best at science myself, but I do love learning about it and I just love the concept of science in general, I just think it's very interesting. So science, that's the pro. It made me actually want to learn something and was super interesting to watch. Okay this is exhilarating. Get excited. Senku looked badass and I loved his catchphrases and that's 1 billion percent. Okay, okay, I know that last bit was kinda corny, so shut up, I don't want to hear about it, please. Let's just move on to the next one, right? And that's the marks on their faces. I just think they look cool. Not sure what it means, but it looks kinda cool. Does the revival fluid have some kind of healing power too? No, well, that would be amazing. It's just cracks filling in. Another part of the depetrification process. I mean, we're still alive, even with these cracks in our faces. The next one is how unpredictable the show was. Like, who would have thought that Senku would win over Chrome? Chrome was destined to win for the girl he loved. So I thought, but I guess not. And lastly, it's such a chill show. It has action every so often, but there's just some indescribable chillness about the show. It's just very enjoyable overall and a good show to relax to. Honestly, Dr. Stone doesn't have many cons in my opinion. These are the ones that I was able to come up with. First off, the girls just have weird faces. They have like miniature mouths which just looks kind of weird to me but is that really a con? It doesn't look that bad. And the second one I came up with was this motherfucker is the most annoying character I've ever seen in any anime ever. He's so damn annoying. I just could not stand him at all. What a shitty character. Was Dr. Stone worth watching? That is the question. Fuck it. There's no question. This was an amazing show and I'm hyped for the upcoming season 2. Easily one of my favorite shows ever already. This is a top 5 for me. And that's a fact. The show was amazing! That's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any anime you want me to cover, leave it in the comments down below and I will definitely get to it. Thank you guys again for watching. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.